In this video, we are going to show you the trunk control test to assess post-stroke motor impairment. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. The trunk control test can be used to assess impairments in motor function in a patient who has suffered a stroke. It is a four item test battery where each item is scored with 0, 12 or 25 points. Zero points are given if the patient is unable to complete the item without assistance. 12 points are given if the patient is able to complete the item using non-muscular help or in an abnormal style or if the patient needs the arms to stable oneself when sitting. And 25 points are given if the patient is able to complete the task normally. Now let's look at the four items in detail. The patient is lying in supine on the bench, which is ideally a wide bow bath bench. Ask the patient to roll to the weak side and score accordingly. Next, ask the patient to roll to the strong side and again score accordingly. For the third item, the patient is sitting on the edge of the bed with the feet off the ground and should ideally be sitting here for 30 seconds without using the arms to support himself. For the last item, the patient should try to sit up from supine lying position. Of course, Kai doesn't need much assistance to complete these tasks normally, but with an actual stroke patient, of course, safety is of most crucial importance. So you will always be close to the patient, observing and ensuring that the patient is safe. So, for example, during the rolling tasks that the patient does not fall off the bench. Now to evaluate the trunk control test, add up the scores of all four items. So the minimum score is 4 times 0 and the maximum score is 100, 4 times 25. A trunk control test score of 50 or less at 6 weeks post-stroke can give you an indication of poor recovery. Alright, now if you want to learn more about clinometrics, make sure to watch our videos on the MRC scale or the Baten score for example. And this was the first video of a series of videos on clinometrics that we're going to post to our channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, do so by clicking the bottom left corner of this screen. Uh, this was Andreas for Physio Tutors. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.